If you haven't heard of Paul Raybill yet, you will. He is lacrosse's first million dollar man. He's making it big in the endorsement game. 27 year old has a deal with New Balance, among other brands. Now, recently I sat down with him to talk about the marketing of the sport. So I started by asking Paul whether or not he thought he could make it as a professional lacrosse player. Not initially. You know, I, I think there's, there's always the compensation on the field. But, uh, you know, I look at it as, a, as an opportunity and a suit from a business side. Um, you know, it's just been a really emerging and growing market over the past two or three years. So, you know, I feel pretty fortunate, but it was one of those things where you take a shot in the dark because of your passion, which I have a lot for for the game, and that's what happened. First selection in the 2008 Collegiate Draft, the Boston Cannons select because of your passion, which I have a lot for for the game, and that's what happened. Paul Rabel, midfield, John Thompson. Rabel getting plenty of attention, as we mentioned, and scores! Rabel from the outside, scores! Paul Rabel with the first of what's expected to be plenty of goals, and this is first pro game tonight. Paul Rabel, who's been the fire starter for Team USA, and he has the fastest shot on the planet. Do you trade Paul Rabel? When you say that, you, you think, no, you, you would never trade Paul Rabel. If this trade was going to happen, I thought it would happen with Chesapeake. Paul lives in Baltimore. He's from the area. But that made some sense to me. New York is not something I saw coming. The Syracuse team, their entire freshman class is likely to redshirt. 59-man roster. We've got seven Fogos, eight goalies. The entire freshman team may redshirt. It's, it's unheard of. The Guys are redshirting? That's good. That's a good sign of growth to me. It shows that, you know, your lacrosse isn't second to education like it always has been. I mean, it's just calling college sports the way they are. I mean, it's good the guys, taking, the guys are taking fifth years so they can play. It's not a bad thing. I'm chatting today with Sean Bryant, a former NBA executive who specialized in player marketing. Uh, Sean, with your background, you know about the marketing of superstar athletes in mainstream sports. Not so simple for guys in niche sports, though, right? Correct, correct. It's, it's a little bit more challenging at that point. Well, what are the major challenges that they need to overcome? Well, I think with the superstars in the, the marquee sports, clearly you have a built-in fan base, you have a built-in platform to tell about all the great things they do. I used to always say to my, my players, that, you know, as an NBA player, you've got 82 opportunities a year to do something interesting that will get you in the sports page. Um, you know, with the, some of the new sports, you don't have that same type of platform, um, and, and so you have to, you know, find new ways and, and different ways to, to talk to your audience. What's up, guys? Paul here. I just want to do a video for everyone. First one's from Eddie. So Alex, you say, what's up, man? Um, what's up, Alex? Steve, next one. You know, maybe Jeff, I, you know, I have family out east, so I have extra tickets, whatever. Just let me know, talk, we can talk about that. James says, hey, Paul, how's it going? I really wanted to meet you. I was only up in Baltimore for the weekend. Alex L., let me know where you live, man. We'll try to uh, figure something out. Thanks for the question. Let's see, last one. Caleb says, hey, Paul, what's up? You know, I'm, I'm actually going to start training. Um, Pretty heavily with uh, Coach Jay Dyer, my strength and conditioning coach um, now, and at Hopkins. That's my clock now. Time to go. Uh, talk to you guys soon, and uh, you know, keep writing questions. I'll keep answering. All right, see ya. Everyone, I feel like, says they're working to grow the game in lacrosse, and to an extent, I believe everyone, myself included. But you want to be respected by your peers. I mean, it's like one of the biggest focal points, if, I think, in all sports. And so you take that risk when you do a lot of this self-promotion. But, you know, on the flip side of lacrosse specifically, there's no way to be promoted without doing it yourself. And that's what I tell some of these younger guys, even like Shribes, that are looking to do it. And, you know, pinnell has been doing it for a couple of years now. So it's different. You have to be, you have to have a much greater level of comfort being in your own skin than, you know, an NBA or NFL guy that are just constantly, you know, they're probably saying no to more media opportunities than yes, and they're on television every day, and here we are not saying no or yes, but we're just going out and creating them on our own, so it can definitely come off as selfish. Um, 
I think generally, well, when I had first gotten in the league in 2008, it was still considered, uh, you know, weekend warriors, a, a made-up league of weekend warriors that, you know, had nine to five jobs and came in on Friday for practice with their suits and changed out and were superheroes on Saturday night and went back to work. And I think at the, as the sport grew, you know, players were realizing that, you know, that this winning and, and competing and training on your own was awesome and so satisfying and the product's gotten a lot better because of that I just think now you know seven years later you're not making a roster unless you're diving headfirst into the MLL and you're seeing fewer guys that work in finance or real estate or these like really demanding jobs um, you know being consistent impact players on the field so you know, yes, guys are still supplementing their salaries with other jobs, but generally it's it's within the lacrosse world, so they're able to go out and practice and train where necessary. It's made the world of a difference, but I think ultimately, right, like all these guys with my encounters, they get it, right? They're not they're not fucking around. You know, they're they, they know what what needs to be done to win, and I think that from a marketing standpoint too, they're starting to get it too. It's challenging though; it's hard. So. You want to go in? Yeah, let's do it. All right. <laughs> right. How long have you known Paul now? Holy moly. Uh, so his freshman year, 2004, that would have been September 2004. And it's now March of 2015. So, it's a long time. And you've been training him the whole time, pretty much? Yeah, I mean, the, well, in initially he was kind of like forced to train with me, so by uh, choosing the school. And then uh, at that point, you know, again, um, those guys were kind of the, uh, the evolution of that in lacrosse, like the classes that, the class he was in, the classes that were above him was that transition of uh, kind of lacrosse being like, we play to get ourselves in shape and we just played basketball in the off season or whatever to becoming like very regimented in their strength training and speed work and agility work. And that's kind of that generation you know that has, has evolved in the sport. Paul's very focused on it. It's, it's interesting to watch other athletes how their attitude about it evolves um, as they see it as something that might be the missing link to them being more successful. So. That's Paul Rabel, the yeah, yeah. Paul Rabel, of course. I saw you, I walked in guys, like right behind you guys. I was like, who are they? Like, and then I look and I'm like, you train every day, man. Where are you from? Uh, Southern Maryland, down at the Calvin School. So nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congrats on the New York Lizards. That's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah. Hey, Paul. Hey, how are you? I'm in Baltimore. You are? Okay. Get ready to drive up tomorrow? Tomorrow morning early, yeah. Okay. That sounds good. I'm excited. All right. Me I too. You are too. Yeah, I am. Good. Tomorrow needs to be a productive day. There's no question. This is a two-week training camp. I play lacrosse. What's your superpower?